Hello there, the internet. Tough Monkey here once again. Hope that you're all well and thank you very much for stopping by. Okay, for this video, we're going to be looking at the lap time challenge currently going on at the Daytona Road Course. And for this challenge, we're going to be driving the wonderful Honda NSX. It's a lovely car, this. I do like driving this one. Um, there are no rules, there's no um, adaptations allowed to the car except that we have to be using the soft sport tyres. It's great since they put the uh, shop in the uh, race select section rather than having to go back to the main menu. It means I can go and buy the tyres I don't already have. Now, we're looking at getting a gold medal in this lap time challenge. Uh, currently, the fastest time is a 1.49, a very high 1.49, which is extremely fast. To get gold and within 3%, we're probably going to be looking into the uh, low 1.52s by the time this event has finished. I've personally set myself a challenge of getting into the 151s. Something like a 151.8, 151 151.9, I'll be satisfied with that. I've, I'm not really that good at Daytona. I've not really played the uh, road circuit orientation very much. I'm very, very familiar with the oval from playing Daytona, the uh, game on the Sega Saturn and Sega Dreamcast, but not so familiar with it on this game. Anyway, I'm going to show you my two fastest laps that I've done to date. Daytona is quite a tricky circuit to get right. There's a couple of uh, very, very tricky sections where you can easily mess things up, especially into that very first corner, which you approach from extremely high speed, and the road is always going away from you as you're braking. Very, very difficult to get that right. In fact, it's one of, one of the hardest corners on the entire game, in my opinion. But there are several other really important places to get right. I'm showing you this particular lap because you can see how far I'm away from my previous best time. And I make it all back in the final section because you've got what I call the bus stop. Uh, that uh, very tricky section that breaks up the oval section on the final run to the flag. And then you've got this corner here. So difficult to get this right. Do you take a tight line and take a shorter line to the flag? Or do you take a wider line and carry more speed? I find it's better to carry more speed, take a slightly wider line, because it's such a long drag to the bus stop chicane coming up that you can make up the uh, distance loss from doing a shallower line. And then you've got the bus stop itself. So easy to ruin an otherwise brilliant lap. I look for the marker board number two just there. I break just before the two and try and get the car under control because it becomes very, very squirrely. I take as much curb as I dare. It's worthwhile trying to uh, do a bit, of, uh, bit of research and find out where the penalty line is triggered because uh, you want to cut as much of that corner as you possibly can, but not too much otherwise you're going to pick up a penalty. And uh, you want to come out of that bus stop as fast as you possibly can because it's, an, again, a very, very long drag to the line any time that you lose coming out of the bus stop is just going to be amplified across the run to the line so this is going to be my fastest lap up to this point i'd already done 20 odd laps up to this moment but you saw from that lap it wasn't brilliant i was half a second i was over half a second behind in the first half of the lap so there's time on the table Okay, we're going to jump now to the fastest lap that I've done so far. We're going to start the lap up on the right-hand side of the circuit so we can make a straight line under braking into this first corner. So tricky, this corner, because it's, it's always turning away from you as you're braking, trying to keep a nice tight line and get back on the throttle early and cut as much of these curves as we possibly can without uh, incurring a penalty. And then got to watch your braking point into this hairpin bend. Very easy to run too deep. Keep it tight, drop a gear down and then go back up a gear. Keep the car under control. Dropping a gear, it allows the rotation of the car, but then putting the gear back up again, it stops the wheel spin. Then we've got this slightly tricky left-hander. You've got to turn in early. It's very easy to run out wide onto the grass there and ruin your line into this hairpin bend here. Early on the brake here, keep the car under control. Drop it a gear again, rotate the car, then back up a gear. And just be careful as you're applying the throttle. Do it smoothly so you don't go out onto the grass there. Then this left-hander, critical corner. Get on the brakes early. Easy to run too deep in there. Cut the curb and then ease the car car out towards the barrier on the right hand side if you, if you turn too tight the car you can hear the tire squealing and you're not getting optimum acceleration then drop it back down to the yellow line and follow that yellow line all the way around the curve and we're heading towards the bus stop chicane you've got so much time to think about this I'm, i i know that i'm on a quick lap here we're nearly a second up here so all I'm doing is I'm looking for my braking point. It comes just before the number two board up on the right hand side there. As you brake heavily, the car's becoming a bit squirrely. I've gone a little bit deep into that. So I'm cutting the yellow curbs just there and that one there to get the shallowest line as we come out of the corner as we possibly can. That will maximize our acceleration, maximize our speed because we're going to carry that speed all the way around this long, long final corner. 
we're going to hug this yellow line all the way around this final corner. There's no point doing any other line. This is your optimum line around this corner. And we're just going to straight line it to the finish line. If you're going to do a second lap, you go wider up onto the right hand side to uh, open up the angle into the first corner. But here we're just going to hug the line and there we go. We've got a 151.826. That's my fastest time so far. I've not come close to beating it. Um, this was filmed on the 18th of February, it's now the 22nd of February as I'm uh, talking to you now. Uh, looking at the leaderboard, I've dropped down from where I was when I filmed this, of uh, mid-1500s, to uh, now I'm 2300, 2400. But my optimum time there is a 151.458, so there is a little bit of extra time in there, but I don't think I feel the need to go any quicker. I feel pretty comfortable that the uh, threshold for getting the gold isn't going to drop low enough that's going to threaten my time. So I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm comfortable with that time. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, maybe there's a few hints and tips on how you can uh, improve your time and hopefully get you that gold medal and the uh, the precious, precious credits that it'll provide for you. The guys out front, they're, they're just far too quick for me. You've got until the uh, 2nd of March to get your times in and secure yourself those credits. So I'm going to leave it there. If you feel so inclined, I do always appreciate a uh, like and a subscribe and maybe a comment below. And uh, I'm going to leave it there on the daily raffle of me winning my usual massive amounts of credits. In this case, we're going to take home a nice 10,000 credits. See you next time.